Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. I have a really good one for you today. It's an easy chicken pot pie bubble up casserole. Now I've done several bubble up casseroles on my channel. I'll link them down below if you want to check them out after we watch this pot pie one. It's going to be so delicious. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring you up here. I'm going to show you all the ingredients we're going to need and then I'm going to show you how fast this one comes together. The first ingredient is a rotisserie chicken that I had my husband cut up. <laughs> We're going to see how much is left of this chicken by the time he's done. You're going to need about two and a half cups of chicken. <laughs> now I love the rotisserie chickens because they're fully cooked, they got a delicious flavor to them, and they're so easy to use. Okay, so we're going to see if we wind up with two to two and a half cups of chicken when he's done. <laughs> okay, next we have some sour cream, minced garlic, now I've got some cream of chicken condensed soup. For some seasonings, we have onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. Got a little bit of butter here. You're gonna see what happens with that. Can of biscuits. We got some cheese going in. And then we got some frozen veggies. And I got peas, carrots, and corn. And it's all gonna happen in your baking dish. We're going to start off by spraying our baking dish with some cooking spray. Now I have a 10 by 12 baking pan. You can use a 9 by 13, either size. I'm going to spray it with some cooking spray. We're going to go ahead and place our cooked chicken. I'm using a rotisserie chicken. If you want to use any other type of chicken, just make sure that it is cooked chicken. You can bake it, you can broil it, you can even boil it with some water and then just chop it all up, okay? Just make sure it's cooked chicken. Anywhere between two to two and a half cups. Whoa, that oh, is a big piece of there? chicken. Look at that, y'all. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that one for you. All right, I think we're down to one and a half cups. <laughs> mm. That is really good. Okay, let's talk about our soup here. Now, this is a 26 ounce size of condensed cream of chicken soup. Now, you can use the smaller cans, the 10 ounce cans, and use all three of them. If you want to use half of the cream of chicken and put in evaporated milk, you can do that also. We're going to add one cup of sour cream. If you don't like sour cream, you can also put in yogurt. Just a regular original yogurt that doesn't have any flavorings in it. Add that. I'm going to add my frozen vegetables. Now you don't have to thaw these, okay, they'll cook in the oven. I've got frozen peas and carrots and then I added some corn. So it's about one and a half cups of the peas and carrots and then an additional cup of corn. Whatever you want to put in there. If you have different vegetables that you like in your pot pie, then you can certainly do that. I've got one cup of shredded cheddar cheese that we're going to add. This is minced garlic. I'm going to add about a teaspoon. That smells good. I love putting garlic in stuff. There we go. Might have been two teaspoons, <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of some black pepper. I've got some onion powder, I'm gonna put half a teaspoon in. Now seasonings are just a preference, okay? If you want to add more of something or if you don't want to add it, then you don't have to. And then I'm going to add some garlic powder. Now I know I added minced garlic, but the garlic powder just has an intense flavor. So I'm just going to add a quarter of a teaspoon in there. We're just going to take a mixing utensil and combine all of our ingredients here. We're just going to do it right in the baking dish here and just go slow and get everything well incorporated. Now if you find you want to add some more liquid, you can add a little bit of milk to thin it out, which I may do because the cream of chicken soup was pretty thick. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get everything mixed up first here. Add a couple of tablespoons of milk. We'll just check it and see how that works. Once we get this all mixed up, we're gonna take a spoon. We're gonna give it a try. Mmm. Oh my God, I can't wait for this one. That's good. Mm. All right, we're gonna smooth it out. Make sure it's nice and even so it cooks evenly. I've got a can of refrigerated biscuits. This is a 16 ounce can and it's just a flaky layers, anything that you want to use. We're gonna open this up. Now, I like to take each biscuit and split them in half lengthwise to make two biscuits like that. Keep them small so they cook evenly. And then I'm just going to cut them into little pieces. Just cut them in half and then cut them into threes. They'll just cook evenly and better. If you put them in on, if you put, take a biscuit and you just place it on there, where I've seen people do that, they don't cook all the way through and it takes longer. This is what creates the bubble up. So I'm gonna take my dish over here where we got our mixture and we're gonna take our dough pieces and we're just gonna lay them on top. Now I like to push them in there, really get them in there. And I try not to cut all my biscuits up right here, okay, because I can cook them separately and then I don't have them all cut up into little pieces if I don't have enough room on my pan. Yes, my husband is the camera person today. Yay! Yay! He's been so busy. I've been doing a lot of the videoing. So it's fun to have him in the kitchen. Make sure you leave space like I am here between your biscuits so that you can see the mixture there. To make our biscuits nice and golden brown, we're gonna give them a little flavor. I'm gonna add some butter that I melted to the tops of the biscuits here. <laughs> Why not? Let's finish this off with a bang. <laughs> My son came home, he's like, I don't smell anything. I said, because I haven't cooked yet. We were busy making the uh, Death by chocolate. Yeah, the death by chocolate cake. So, so dinner got off to a late start, but it's so easy to put together. You saw how easy this was. And I've got my extra biscuits in a pan here. So you don't have to flood your pan here with biscuits, all right? I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. Now what we want to do is take some foil. We're going to cover up our baking dish. We're gonna place this in the oven for 20 minutes. I'm gonna take the foil off. We're gonna place it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. Just keeping an eye on your biscuits. We wanna make sure that the biscuits are nice and golden brown and cooked through. So you can probably peek at one of them at the end, just kind of pull it up and make sure that it's not doughy. And then we just wanna make sure that the casserole itself is heated through. All right, I'll be back. We pull this out of the oven and we let it rest for about five or seven minutes. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see the different layers of the biscuits. Oh my gosh, right here. Layer, 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 layer. Mmm, that looks so delicious. Nice and golden brown. The biscuits are all cooked through. I think it took us an additional two minutes. <laughs> I came in and I pulled out a little biscuit and gave it a try and oh yeah, they're totally done now. Look at this, chicken pot pie bubble up casserole. There's my bite. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. Mm. I love the vegetables in there. The biscuit has a nice little crunch on the top of it. Oh my gosh, and that chicken. Mm. This spells Popeye to me. <laughs> All right, 
make sure you give me a thumbs up on this one comment down below and if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you'll always know when my simple easy and delicious meals are posted I'm on Facebook and my recipes can be found at www.catherinesplates.com. I will see you on my next episode. Mm.